In this tutorial, I'll show you how to migrate a virtual machine between two standalone ESXi hosts using VMware vCenter Converter. Here's our lab setup for today. We have two ESXi hosts. ESXi1 is our source host, and it has a Windows virtual machine with a 50GB single hard disk. ESXi2 is our target host, and it currently has no virtual machines. Now, let's begin the migration process. First, you need to install VMware Converter Standalone on your client computer. If you haven't downloaded it yet, check out the link above for a guide on how to download VMware Converter for free from Broadcom. During the installation, select the setup type as local installation. Once the installation is complete, open VMware Converter Standalone. Now, we're ready to move the virtual machine from ESXi1 to ESXi2. Before we start, ensure the virtual machine you want to migrate is powered off. Open VMware Converter and click on Convert Machine. For the source type, select Powered Off and then choose VMware Infrastructure Virtual Machine from the drop-down menu. Enter the source ESXi host IP address, username is root, and the root password. Click Next to continue. Wait for the connection to establish and click Ignore if you see a certificate warning. Now, you'll see a list of available virtual machines on the source host. In our lab, we only have one virtual machine. Select it and click Next. Next. Enter the target ESXi host IP address, username is root, and the root password. Click Next to proceed. If needed, you can rename the virtual machine at this stage, but I'll keep the name unchanged. Click Next. Here, you can select the destination data store and virtual machine version. I'll set the data store as DS1 and the virtual machine version as 20. Click Next. You can also edit the source VM hardware settings if needed. For example, you can change the disk type from thick to thin provisioning. In this lab, I won't make any changes. Click Next, review the summary, and then click Finish to start the job. The migration job has started. You can monitor the progress in VMware Converter Standalone. On the destination host, you'll see the new virtual machine appear as the job runs. The migration time depends on the size of the virtual machine's disk and the data within it. Wait until the task is complete. Once the task is complete, go to the source ESXi host. You can now power on the copied virtual machine without any issues. That's it, you've successfully migrated a virtual machine between two standalone ESXi hosts using VMware vCenter Converter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.